Did any of your ancestors own a coat of arms? Find out at findmycoat.com. Hi everyone, it's John from findmycoat.com and I wanted to take a quick second to uh, walk you through an example of how I would go about um, finding the correct coat of arms for your family. So the example that we have here is a man named Henry A. Kazmaier, who was born in 1874, and here he is standing in front of his uh, grocery store, which I believe is in Ohio. And uh, to the right of him here, we have the coat of arms um, for his family that I've determined. It has a blue shield with a, a white or silver cat on it, and I'm going to show you how I made that determination. So we start with his family tree. So we have to do his genealogy to figure it out, right? So we start with Henry, and then we can identify his father. His father was John Conrad Kazmaier. His grandfather was Andreas Kazmaier, who was born in 1815. His great-grandfather was Johannes Kazmaier, born in 1794, and so on and so forth, until we get all the way up to his seven time great grandfather, Baltazar Katzmeyer I, who was born in 1562. So if we go to the next slide, we can see that this Baltazar Katzmeyer I, who was born in 1562, was granted a coat of arms, which is shown in this document to the right, that was signed by the German Emperor Rudolf II of Habsburg. So this is the grant of nobility that shows the coat of arms, and this is the color depiction. Um, so that's how we do it. We, we start with the person, and then we review your genealogy, or if you don't have it done, we can get it done for you. And from there, we match it up uh, in our library with you know officially granted real historical coats of arms. So if you're interested, uh, give us a visit at findmycoat.com.